What else can you do to maximize your pumping? You can do things before you pump, such as whole body vibration, exercise. You can do a deep tissue treatment to try and break down that fibrotic structure. You can use gua sha or other tools to change the structure of the tissue. You can bounce like on a trampoline. You can do squeeze and release movements with your body as you would in yoga. And you can do the dead cat shake where you lift your arms and legs in the air and you shake your tissue. And this has been shown by Indocyne and Green to be very effective at improving lymphatic pumping. Once you, you get that gel kind of softened up and more in a liquid form, then you use your pump. And you follow that by wearing your compression garments or putting your legs up. External forces on the tissue can also improve the extracellular matrix. So there are, are cells called preadipocytes. They're not quite fat cells, they're like immature fat cells. And if you stretch them, then they don't go on to form mature fat cells. So instead, the tissue spends its energy on repairing and healing rather than storing fat. So these external forces can actually be stretching, like in, in yoga and, other, and other movement therapies, compression garments, pumps, swimming, and stretching.